Patrick, look what I found! Oh, it's a bottle! But I wonder if there's something inside. Do you want me to check, Sophie? Yes, teacher, yes! How about the kids? Do you want me to check what's inside the bottle? Good! Well, let's find out together. Look, Sophie! Do you know what this is, Sophie? It's a treasure map! That's right! Do you think what I'm thinking, Sophie? Yes, Teacher Patrick. Let's go... Try your hunting! How about you kids? Do you want to find a treasure with us? Good, but before that, we have to pray. Please follow me. I fold my hands, I bow on my head, and close my eyes. Dear Jesus... Dear Jesus... Thank you. Thank you. For this wonderful day. For this wonderful day. Guide us. Guide us. For this treasure hunting. For this treasure hunting. Today. Today. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yoo-hoo! Let's go! Ahoy! My name is Pitai. Do you know what time is it? I can't hear you. It's Quarrels of Lifetime. Quarrels of Lifetime! Number one, God loves me. Number three, 
Jesus died for me. Yeah. <gasps> Number four, I must decide to live for Jesus. Hey kids, can you recite with me? Good kids. Number one, God loves me. Number two, I have sinned. Number three, Jesus died for me. Number four, I must decide to live for Jesus. Very good. It's fantastic. Bye-bye, kids. My name is Teacher Roba, and it's Memory Verse Time! Our verse for today is found in Proverbs 12, 22. The Lord detests lying lips, but He delights in those who tell the truth. The Lord detests lying lips, but He delights in those who tell the truth. This time, we will have an activity to help us memorize our verse. Are you ready? If you're ready, shout Jesus! Good! Now, we have two treasure boxes, the gold one and the silver one. Which one has the first missing word? Right! It's in the gold treasure box. Next, is it this one or this one? Hmm. Good! It's in the silver treasure box. We're almost done, kids! For the last missing word, is it this one or this one? Hmm. Did you just say it's in the silver treasure box? Hmm. But I think it's in the gold one. not the right word. You're right, kids. It's in the silver treasure box. Yay! You did a great job, kids. Now, let's recite our verse once again. Proverbs 12, 22. The Lord detests lying lips, but He delights in those who tell the truth. Very, very good. Very, very good. Very good, very good, very, very good!
Hi kids, I'm Teacher RR. Are you excited to listen to our story today? Great! Kids, have you tried playing hide and seek? Good! I like that game too. In today's story, we are going to learn about someone who tried to hide something, but he was not playing a game. He hid something because he had stolen it. He thought no one would ever find it. He even thought that God would never find it. What do you think will happen? This place is awesome! What's that over there? Hmm... I know that place! That's the camp of the Israelites! Come on kids, let's go check it out! Oh, I know that man! He is Joshua! He's the leader of the Israelite army. The Lord helped the Israelites, also known as the Hebrews, win the battle of Jericho. The Israelites followed God's instructions and the big walls around the city just fell down and crumbled. The Israelites rushed in and captured the city. Jericho had lots of gold and silver and other treasures. Joshua told the Israelites that they were not to keep any of the gold or silver or treasures for themselves. They were to give it all to God for the tabernacle. This is what God commanded to Joshua and to all the people of Israel. Joshua thought that's what all of the Israelites did. After their victory at Jericho, Joshua led his people to the next city the city of Ai. Joshua sent spies to see how strong Ai was. The spies saw the city of Ai, but they were not afraid. Remember how we beat Jericho? Ha ha ha! The spies said, We're so strong, we just need a few men to conquer Ai. When the spies told Joshua that only a few soldiers were needed, he sent only a small army of 3,000 men to fight the thousands of people in the city of Ai. When the Israelite army attacked the city, the people of Ai fought very hard and beat them. 36 of God's people died that day. Joshua was very upset. He tore his clothes and he fell down on the ground. Stand up, Joshua. The Lord said, You have lost the battle because someone in your army has disobeyed me. Remember how I told the people to put all of the riches from Jericho in the tabernacle? All of those riches were mine. Someone has kept some of the riches for themselves. They have kept them hidden. They have forgotten that I can see everything. Even though only one person had sinned, that person was making all of the Israelites suffer. The Lord told Joshua to gather all the people together. The Lord would show Joshua who had sinned. Early the next morning, Joshua called all of the people together. He told the people what the Lord said. Nothing can be hidden from God. God knows who had disobeyed him. No one came forward and admitted that they had sinned. So Joshua ordered all of the people to walk before him. Each of the 12 tribes walked before Joshua. When the tribe of Judah came before Joshua, the Lord showed that the guilty person was from that tribe. Still, no one confessed. Next, each of the clans or big families of the tribe of Judah walked before Joshua. The clan of Zerahites was chosen. 
no one came forward to admit they had sinned. They still thought they could hide their sins from God. All of the Zerahites walked in front of Joshua and the Lord showed that the guilty person was from the family of a man named Zabdi. When no one in the family admitted their sin, finally, the Lord revealed that a man from Zabdi's family was the one who had kept some of the riches of Jericho. That man's name was Achan. Achan finally admitted that he had stolen some things from Jericho. He had wanted to keep them for himself instead of putting them in the tabernacle for the Lord. He thought he could hide the things he stole and that no one would ever find out. He forgot that the Lord sees everything and that nothing can be hidden from him. Achan told Joshua that the things he had stolen were buried inside his tent. Soldiers quickly went to his tent and found a beautiful robe, silver and gold. This was a very serious thing that Achan did. Bad things were happening to all of Israel because of what Achan had done. Because he had stolen from the Lord and had tried to hide it, he was punished. He and those in his family who had helped him hide the riches were taken out of the city and were stoned. Whoa! <laughs> what an adventure it was! Have you learned something from our story today? Great! Kids, we must understand that sin, no matter how small it might be, is still not good in the eyes of God. Sin greatly affects us and the people around us. That is why God does not tolerate sin. So, whenever you are tempted to do bad things, like telling lies or disobeying your parents, remember Achan and the punishment he received. But when we tell the truth and admit our sin, God will surely forgive us. Once again, I'm Teacher RR. Until next time, kids. Bye-bye. Hi, kids. I'm Teacher Lester. And today, we are going to do some activity that will help us learn more about Jesus. Hello, kids. Hello, Teacher Lester. Hi, Alan. Hi, Judah. Are you excited for our activity today? Yes, Teacher Lester. That's great. So, I have a question. What do you think does a heart shape symbolize? Mm, I think heart stands for love. That is what my mom told me. To express that too, as well. That's correct. Guess what? I have a heart shape cat out here. Whoa! That's huge! We also need some nails. We got it, Teacher Lester! Awesome! Kids, do you tell lies? <laughs> Uh-oh! Well, that's our activity for today. Can you please tell some lies that most kids tell? How about telling our parents? That we're done doing our homework. But the truth is, we're not done yet. Yes, that's correct, Alan. By the way, I know a story of a boy who had a bad habit. He kept on telling lies. Every time his mother and father would catch him lying, they would remind him that it was wrong and not to do it anymore. Okay, this time around, let's try it with Judah. Can you tell us about an incident where you lied and nail it into your heart? When my parents asked me if I am not taking my vitamins, I said yes, but actually I did. Good job, Judah. How about you, Alan? Slept after lunch, but 
but I was just pretending to sleep. Great job, Alan. How about Rabbit done the chores, but told my parents that I'm done doing it. That's a nice example, Judah. Me too. I told my parents I did my homework, but the truth is, I didn't. Can you please nail it into the heart? Yes, teacher Lester. Me, me, me. Yes, Judah. I told my parents that I'm done arranging my toys. But the truth is, I wasn't really able to do it. Excellent, Judah. Thank you, teacher. How about you, Alan? Can you give us one last example? Yes, teacher Lester. I told my parents I ate lunch. Actually, I gave it to my classmates. Thank you, Alan. But kids, do you think Jesus could forgive the sins that you committed? What do you think? Yes, I think so, teacher Lester. If we say sorry. Hmm, okay. So after telling those lies, are you sorry for what you did? Yes, teacher Lester. Hmm, okay. This time, can you please pull up the nail together? Yes, yes teacher, teacher Lester. Lester. Careful, kids. Okay, look at the heart-shaped cat. What do you see? I see all the nails are even. Just like how Jesus has forgiven my sin. Yes, that's right, Judah. Thank you, teacher. But what else do you see? I can see some clothes. That's right, Alan. Look, kids. That's the way with Jesus. He will surely forgive our sins. But we still have to live with the imprints. But He can give you a new heart if you allow Him to change your heart. And remember, lying is not good. Jesus doesn't want us to lie. Instead, He wants us to tell the truth all the time. So that's our activity for the day. I'm Teacher Lester. And I'm Alan. And I'm Judah. Remember, remember kids?
kids? It's me again! Have you enjoyed our adventure today? Me too! I've learned a lot today. But before we end, can we recite our memory verse once again? Good! Proverbs 12, 22 The Lord detests lying lips, but He delights in those who tell the truth. Let's do it again! Proverbs 12, 22 The Lord detests lying lips, but He delights in those who tell the truth. Very, very good! Very, very good! Very good, very good, very, very good! Goodbye, kids! What a great day it was, Sophie! Did you have fun? Yes, Teacher Patrick! But we're not yet done with our adventure! Yes. We're actually still halfway there. But do you still want to find the remaining treasures? Yes, Teacher Patrick! How about you kids? Do you still want to find the remaining treasures? Alright! But it's already night time and it's time for us to rest. Aw, that's sad. Anyways, let's go next time. Yeah, I think that would be a very good idea, Sophie. Before we take a rest, first we have to pray. Please follow me. I fold my hands, I bow down my head, and close my eyes. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, thank you, thank you for this wonderful day. For this wonderful day. May we apply, May we apply everything, everything that we learned today. That we learned today. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. See you in our next adventure, kids. Bye bye. Special thanks to the following: BCC Kids Church Team, BCC Multimedia Team, and Family Circus Children's Ministry Davao for allowing us to use this material online. And this has been BCC Kids Church. See you next week.